Hey guys, welcome back to the Sips Loud gang. So Megan the Stallion is rocking this, you know, bang, shabang, and she looks cute. I'm not gonna lie, but she was you know really modeling to ariana grande's uh song from her new album and people on twitter were saying the only reason why megan the stallion is listening to ariana grande is because ariana and nikki are close friends like they said megan the stallion is trying to be friends with anybody nikki is friends with she tried it with beyonce and jay-z and they said she managed to turn jay-z and beyonce against nikki like the rumors are out beyonce doesn't f with nikki no more what i really love about nikki also is that she knows she is a queen herself like she's probably on beyonce's status level or she's higher so whenever beyonce's trending or beyonce puts out a song or album nikki doesn't go oh my god queen b da 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 nikki keeps her cool and she minds her business these are the girls they worship beyonce and nikki is not one of them girls okay and also something weird is happening on twitter with the barbs and the bardy gang because they were saying you know what bodak yellow which is the hit song that really started cardi b's career has surpassed Nicki minaj's anaconda the truth is guys if you pick people to choose anaconda or bodak yellow i don't even need to say which songs people are gonna choose okay because y'all know which song was impactful y'all need to understand that this is a new era for Nicki minaj that was then and this is now a lot of people are now tech savvy they listen to stuff they stream stuff differently y'all just want to go on the internet and say okay cardi is better than Nicki because cardi has more views it's not only about views it's the substance, boo. I heard Cardi B can't even sell out a show, but Nicki does it easily. What's even more crazy is that Nicki Minaj is charting, like her music is selling. She's all over social media platforms because of this Pink Friday tour. Y'all saw the production when Pink Friday 2 album was launching. Everybody was marketing this whole gag city. It was all over, you know, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. And of course, I do believe, and this is my own opinion, I think that really intimidated the hell out of Cardi B. Like she was like, oh, my fans are not so loyal to me. So Cardi B came out the other day and she posted something saying, you know, let's see how the, the Barty gang could help me. Like, let's see how the Barty gang uh, supports me. Let's see how strong y'all come out for me because the barbs went out strong for nikki so cardi is using sympathy to boost her fans to to buy her music to you know basically to trend her at this point i think cardi is a jealous spirit and she doesn't like see nikki winning she doesn't like seeing Nikki win. And that's the truth of it. And Nikki enjoys, you know, rubbing salt in, in Cardi B's wound. And here's why. Nikki knows that she's naturally talented. Nikki knows Cardi can't even rap that good. And she needs uh, ghost writers, allegedly. So this is why the game is so easy for Nikki because she not not easy because she she works really hard, but she is talented you're gonna win no no awards this has nothing to do with awards this has something to do with spirituality and personality because no no matter the amount of awards that cardi b gets she's still gonna feel bad at the end of the day because she doesn't sound like nikki she doesn't get the standing ovation like nikki does nikki is really a rap mogul and that is something cardi b will never take away Okay, and the jealousy is rising, sweetheart. And trust me, Cardi B is like, I'm gonna drop music back to back. Girl, you dropped two songs, enough. And like what, trust me, the only thing in my own opinion that is pushing the songs are the visuals. She's smart, Cardi is smart. She, do she doesn't drop the songs only. She drops the music videos to push the songs. 
Nikki drops audios, honey, and they sell. Now that's the difference, okay? But let us know what y'all think down below in that comment section and see y'all next time. And thank you guys for sipping with us.